This phone call is to the Eunice City Police Department, Louisiana. It's in regards to the arrest of Alexander John Leger, who was arrested while documenting police officers from the Eunice City Police Department. You can find out more about the story at photographyisnotacrime.com. Please call the Eunice City Police Department. You have reached the Eunice Police Department. If this is an emergency, please hang up and dial 911 now. To request an officer to be dispatched, to file a complaint, or to speak to an officer, press 6 now. If you know your party's extension number, it be... One moment, please. Hi, I'm recording this phone call for public record. Um, I work for Photography is Not a Crime out of Florida, and I'm seeking... Uh, Wait, I'm sorry. You're talking a little bit too fast. I can't understand what you're saying. I said um, I'm recording this phone call for public record, and I work you're for... You're recording this phone call? For public record. Yes, ma'am. Can you a phone call? Okay, I'm a journalist out of Florida, and I'm seeking information about the illegal arrest of uh, Alexander Leger. Okay, Hello? Hello, I'm sorry, is anybody there? Hello, hello. So can you hold on a second? Sure. After about four minutes of being kept on hold, I am eventually hung up on. This is a type of service you can expect from the Eunice Police Department. You have reached the Eunice Police Department. One moment, please. Here's Logan. Hi, I'm recording this phone call for public record. I just called. Hold on a second, please. Thank you. Hold on a second. I'm holding. Yes. Hello. Hello, hi. I'm a journalist uh, out of Jacksonville, Florida. I'm recording this phone call for public record. Um, I just had some questions. Okay, first of all, who is this? My name is Jeff Gray. I'm a journalist out of Jacksonville, Florida. Okay, uh, how am I supposed to know that you are giving me correct information? Do you have uh, information you can fax to me so I can verify who you are? Well, I just have some questions about the uh, illegal arrest of Not Alexander. Exactly. Well, first of all, if you'd be a journalist, why are you saying this person was illegally arrested? I mean, are you a judge? I mean, how do you... How do you determine he was arrested illegally? If well, you're a journalist. Can I, can, I, can I speak, please? There's well, a, I mean, I'm talking about who you are, sir. You're calling sir, me. With sir, sir, listen to me. Listen to me. There's a video, what, there's a video you on YouTube, YouTube, sir. There's a video on YouTube. Have, I'm trying to let day, you know. Sir. Have a good day. Bye. Hi, I'm recording this phone call for public record. I just got hung up on. I was wondering if I could speak to somebody that doesn't act like a child, please. I'm sorry, sir. You were speaking to the chief. That's the chief that I was speaking to? Yeah, I was the chief. May I speak to him again, please? No, that's the problem. Hold up. Thank you. D. 
is. Chief, this is the guy that just called. I'm recording this for public record. I'm just trying to seek comment or information on the arrest of Alexander Leger. I just want to inform you that there is a video of the arrest that's that uh, clearly shows that it was an illegal arrest and that the video is going viral. Okay, but then why are you, why are you calling me? Uh, I want to know if... Uh, what is y'all's policy as far as um, citizens documenting police officers in the course of their duties in a public space? Well, first of all, you have to know the, the whole totality of the situation, just what transpired. So... This video just shows a small glimpse of what transpired. So, you know, it goes from there. That's why everything's going to be brought up in front of a judge as evidence, and then from there, the judge will make a determination. I don't know what the policies are in Florida, but we have a certain set of rules that we have to follow by certain laws. Right, and the, uh, the Constitution is a First Amendment protected right to document public officials in a public space. Absolutely, but when you infringe somebody else's private, or when you infringe your own private property, you're not supposed to be at. Then you cross the line, which you're not supposed to be at that location. This, you, the Supreme Court made the decision as well that you have to stay within a certain distance from uh, from public officials or even the public. Right. I, I'm, I'm wondering, have you seen the have investigation? You, have you seen the so video? I don't want to, I don't want to debate this. I, I think if you look up the laws, you're going to answer a lot of your questions and you're going to see what's going to happen next, the proceeding and the follow-up. But as far as to be discussed this with you, United Attorney, so you just want public you know, comments for your article. And I can't discuss this case with you as an open forum until this has been adjudicated because I don't jeopardize the case. Okay, I'm wondering how you would react if a group of citizens just decided that we're just going to go ahead and go out there and document every single thing that your police officers do uh, and from a respectful distance. Absolutely. We have no problem with it. Is that so? No problem. Uh, the, the, the video is... They want to come right with us. We leave them, them right with us and so they can videotape everything. But they can't get involved when it's an investigation or when it's a crime scene. Then you inhibit the officer performing his duties correctly. And also, you inhibit the individual from being... have some fear for something may happen. Right, and all that and would you, be... All that would be... you follow the individual that, that's talking, that's borderline terrorism. So this is the part that you have to... It's a fine line of which part you go with and what's, what's going to happen next. But right. again, if you research a little, if you, if you research some of the, the congressional decisions that's been made, you can answer a lot of questions on what's going to happen. Well, okay? the video clearly shows that Mr. Leger is... Uh, sir, you're saying the video clearly shows, but the video just shows a glimpse of what happened. And you don't know the video is, hasn't been tampered with, do you? Well, it's an unedited video, so uh, well, you can see that's well, we unedited. Know we have some information where the, the videos have been tampered with. So that's all we presented when it goes to trial. Well, you, see, you, you can also hear your officers uh, just they're completely ignorant of the law, like the, the female officer. One well, the, sir, that is, again, so you, you're making a judge and jury decision right here. Well, on it sounds trial, like so you guys are doing the same so. thing. I was arrested by the well, Lottie Florida sir, Police Department, and I, I thought they were pretty bad. Out. But you guys took the cake. You're, the sir, ignorance, you, your listen, ignorance, you're making argument your officer's listen. ignorance of the law is just ridiculous. Mr. Gray, you're pathetic. Have a good day, you're sir. a disgrace. Your conversation is over.